Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear. And I am back to share my magical readathon TBR with you. And for this TBR, I have had a journey with it. I planned it out, had it what I thought was good, and then the Hugo nominations dropped and I'm like, well, I want to read those. Let's see if I can get any of those onto my TBR. And then I found out that one of my prompts I had misunderstood. So I'd watched a prompts video while I was at work and I had, hadn't caught all the information. This list has changed quite a bit. And as of a mood reader, it might not end up being what I read for the prompts, but I wanted to plan something. So my character Junia is a dwarf from Darun, very much into sci-fi and building things, came to Aurelium to become a craftsman like her grandfather, and she has failed both years. And so I approached the semester knowing that I was going to change careers. From the very beginning when the colleagues were first announced, I really was gravitating more towards Archmage, and I know that's more reading. But I think my character likes having a challenge, so I already knew I was going to be changing. Instead of three prompts for Craftsmage, I have six prompts for Archmage. And for Alchemy this year, the students are learning transmutation circles, and the prompt is to find a book with a circle on the cover. And for this, I was able to get a Nebula nominee in. I have The Mimicking of Known Successes by Malka Older. And there's some circles right here, all over the, the cover. I know it's not set on Earth. I know it's about two women and science, and I'm excited to read it. So the next one was fun. For inscription, our characters are learning practical typography, and the prompt was to write down three titles on a piece of paper, fold it, and then pick one. And so I wrote down these books on pieces of paper, the Will of the Many, Fourth Wing, and Hair of the Ninth. And then I let my husband choose the piece of paper and he picked up Fourth Wing. So I'm going to be reading Fourth Wing for this prompt. One of my real world friends recently just said, hey, you should read this. He reads a ton. And I was like, all right. I already have it on my shelf. It's part of a project I wanted to do. I'll go ahead and just read it in April. For Artificery, we're learning about locks and keys, and the prompt is a lock or key on cover or in the title. Now this is one I don't have physically, either out from the library yet, or part of my personal physical TBR, and I'm planning to read Under Lock and Skeleton Key by Gigi Pandian. It's on my massive TBR list. I don't really know what it's about. For spells and incantations, we are learning the spell quick count. And for the prompt for this one was use a random number generator for title length. And this is the one I misunderstood. I thought it was words. And then later, thanks to the Discord, I learned that it was numbers. So this has changed a whole bunch of times. So I ended up getting 13, which 13 letters is hard. No, I'm not counting punctuation, but yeah, 13 letters ended up being really hard. I had a lot of 14s. I had a lot of 12s. 13s, not so much. I finally found one from my physical TBR, and that is Weaver's Lament by Emma Newman. And then I know this is a book two of a series that I had been reading from her before about a young woman who has magic, has great power, and she helps her her brother get into some a magical guild and one of the proctors catches her and then pulls her in secretly as well because women aren't supposed to have magic or use it that much I don't know one of those things and I think it's kind of set like in Victorian times for the art of illusion the students are learning shadow play and the prompt is word game or play in the title and I found something on my shelves. Some This is a book that my mom gave me, and it's not something I would have picked up for myself. 
So I know she read it for her book club the other year, and she really liked it and wanted me to read it. And I haven't because it's not something that typically I would pick up. And that is The Lion Game by Ruth Ware. It's like a mystery thriller. That's all I know about it. And then for the last one, we have Conjuration. And the students are learning Blinding Prism and the prompt was to use a color wheel. And so I spun a color wheel and I got the color gray. Again, I found this on my shelf and it's probably about time that I read it because this is one of my favorite series. I have Cast an Eternity by Michelle Segarra. This is, I think the last one she's published. There's supposed to be another one coming out this year. So I really should read this before the other one comes out. And this series is following Kaylin N Nea who is the chosen and has powers that she doesn't understand and she's surrounded by beings who are immortal and not and other beings who are mortal like herself and she is a cop who goes about helping keep the peace i really enjoy it Again, like this is, I think, number 17 or 18 in the series. So long running series, but it's a series I love. Those are all the classes. I am hoping to join in with the House of Arcane book club. That's my house. It hasn't been chosen yet. I know at this point, everybody has, is putting in their prompts still. And then I think on the 22nd, we'll be given a couple choices to vote from. But I didn't have time to wait to film this video. It's just going to be a surprise for you next month. And because I like being super ambitious, I still am interested in doing the sand ship engineer certi certification, which would give me two more books with a desert setting. I do have books tentatively chosen for this. However, I'm going to wait and see if I finish my other six prompts, seven, including the book club prompt first, because I am a slow reader. But this has been my magical TBR. If you are participating in this, I would love to know what calling you're doing. Tell me a little bit about your character. What are some of the books you're using for your prompts? I would love to know down below. Thank you and have a great day.